Hello everyone, the new year is coming very soon, and I just couldn't leave you without a New Year's mood. This time, the New Year's video will be doubly interesting, since we will be comparing the New Year's table now and the New Year's table from 100 years ago. Let's see who wins, modern trendy dishes or classic, time-tested New Year's recipes. So 100 years ago, the most popular main dish was baked turkey. We have one that is so huge and it weighs as much as 15 kilograms. First of all, it needs to be salted. Rub the salt around on all sides. Don't skip on the salt, and there's a lot of meat here. Now add some black pepper for flavor. And let's head outside. Previously, the turkey was pre-fried before baking. But 100 years ago, there was no gas stove, so they fried it exclusively on live fire. Let's chop up some firewood. And light the stove. Add a lot of oil to the pan. And send our hefty turkey in to roast. After three minutes, turn it over to the other side. And after another three minutes, let's remove the turkey from the pan. For the baking, pour half a liter of broth into a baking tray. Now let's put a grid on top. And let's put the turkey on top of it. Vegetables are needed for the next stage. Therefore, we cut off some celery. Carrot. And onions. Let's chop off a hefty piece of butter and go outside to the frying pan. We need to melt it. And fry all the chopped vegetables in it. We're not gonna fry them until they're fully cooked, but simply set the crust for a richer taste. And now you can remove them from the pan. We stuff the turkey with the fried vegetables. They will give it a sweet flavor, and it will retain more moisture so that the turkey will stay juicy. Cover the top with several layers of foil. And let's take it out. Let's go outside one more time. We will bake in a real wood-burning oven, since few people had ovens 100 years ago. Let's close it up. At 180 degrees, we will cook for five hours. After the time is up, you can get out the turkey. Now let's see what happened to her in five hours in the oven. Okay, everything is fine. She looks just gorgeous. The main dish for the New Year's table was ready 100 years ago. Now it is more popular to cook some premium pieces of meat for the new year. For example, a rack of lamb. We tear off the film from it. Turn it over to the other side and cut off all the unnecessary pieces of fat and film. Oh. 
There we go. Now we salt and pepper our piece of meat. Press in the spices, turn it over to the other side, and repeat the procedure. That said, it's time to fry it up in a frying pan. We'll also add in some rosemary, thyme, garlic, and a piece of butter. We need to wait for it to melt. And then pour the fragrant butter over the piece of meat. It is important that each time the butter drains from the meat, it passes through the herbs and garlic. Then the meat will be saturated with flavors to the max. Turn the square over to the other side and continue to pour on butter. Now at the end, we will quickly set the crust to the ends. And now we toss our lamb into the oven. Of course, with a thermometer. We are going to wait for it to warm up to 49 degrees inside. And take it out of the oven. Now squeeze on some honey mustard. And spread it over evenly the whole piece. Mustard should get even from above between the bones. For the breading, chop up some parsley and dump it into a blender. This includes spinach and now grate some good Parmesan cheese. And put that into the blender as well. Now for some panko breadcrumbs. Close the blender and blend. You need to get a uniform green crust. With this breading, we cover up the rack of lambs. And we want to smear it all over so that the breading sticks to the mustard. So the lamb rack is ready. We put it into the oven for the last time and heat it up to 230 degrees. And we're gonna wait until the temperature of the meat inside is 65 degrees and you can take it out. Now the main dish for the modern New Year's table is ready. Right now, try to guess in the comments what's gonna taste better, the turkey or the ribs? The side dish 100 years ago was almost always potatoes in a rustic manner. Well, everything is really simple here. Cut the clean potatoes into slices. Yes. All these slices should be dropped into a bowl. Salt it well. And pepper. And pour in some oil. Then mix it up. Now pour these out onto a baking sheet. That's it, we're gonna go outside again. We will bake it again in our wood-burning oven while it is still warm. It's been literally one hour and it's ready. You can take it out. I don't think it's bad. All that's left to do is put it onto a plate. Now the New Year's side dish from 100 years ago is ready. Now we're gonna try to cook something a little bit trickier for the New Year today. Something that is not eaten on a daily basis. For example, like this root vegetable called Edo, or the second name is called Taro. It looks like some kind of coconut, but in fact it is closer to potatoes, only even more starchy. First we peel it from the hairy peel, then cut it into uniform sized pieces, and dump them into a pot of water. After that, put it on the stove, cover it up with the lid, 
and cook until it's ready for about an hour. After that, it'll be ready. Drain out the excess water, and let's turn the Edo into a puree. Okay, but this is not just mashed potatoes. This is like caramelized onions. Therefore, we're gonna cut up some fresh onions into half rings. And send those to fry in a frying pan. A little bit later, add some coconut sugar and some water and caramelize those onions. You should be left with a really soft brown color. Now remove it from the stove and drop the onion into the pan. Here we have a tablespoon of sesame paste and take a good walk around with a blender to chop the onion. And with a mixer, we will beat the air bubbles into a puree. Now you can put this into a bowl. A little bit of green onion on top. The main course for the modern New Year's table is ready. Let's move on to the salads. A hundred years ago, the recipe for Olivier salad was completely different. First, pour concentrated beef broth into a breaking tray and pop this into the fridge. The meat component in Olivier was chicken. Therefore, we remove the meat from the bones and cut it into smaller pieces. Put it into a bowl. And the cucumber that was used was not pickled, as it is now, but fresh. Cut it into cubes. And dump it into the bowl. Boil potatoes. Nothing has changed here, just cut it into cubes. And into the bowl. Boiled eggs. Back then they used quail eggs, not chicken ones. So let's peel them all. Done. Now cut each egg into four parts. And into the bowl. Olives were also used in the Olivier salad, but first they also need to be chopped. Into the salad. The next ingredient is capers. You will also need some Kabul sauce, which is very similar to liquid homemade ketchup. You need to add some mayonnaise to this. And mix it up really well. The sauce is ready. Add it to the salad and mix up well. Just like that. And don't forget to add salt. That's it, the salad base is ready. We're going to use some lettuce leaves to serve it, and then pour the Olivier inside. Now the beef broth stock is already set. It's such a dense natural jelly. We're gonna cut it with a knife, and try to cut it into even cubes. Now get some out with a spatula. And put it into the center of the salad. It's sort of like an ornamental piece. The next decoration is crayfish. They need to be cleaned because only the crayfish necks were used. That's it, we spread them out beautifully onto the salad. Our 100-year-old New Year's Olivier salad is ready. 
But for the modern New Year's table, you're gonna see some fashionable Greek quinoa and avocado salad. To do this, the quinoa needs to be boiled. And you're left with this little mess. We dump this into a bowl. The next ingredient is avocado. We make an incision in a circle, open it up, remove the pit, and use a spoon to take out the pulp. And then dice this pulp into cubes. And send it into the bowl. Immediately pour in lemon juice so that the avocado does not brown. Quickly cut the cucumber into cubes. Some red onion. Now let's cut it up some more. Into the salad. Let's open up some cheese. And cut it into cubes. Put that into the salad as well. The salad also has olives and cherry tomatoes, which we're gonna first cut into four parts. Into the salad. We'll also fill it up with olive oil, basil, freshly ground pepper, salt, and mix it together until the salad is ready. Now you can pour this into a beautiful salad bowl. That's it, your trendy Greek salad with quinoa is ready for the modern New Year's Day table. Let's move on to the snacks. A hundred years ago, everything was extremely simple. Slicing of several types of meat and sausage were used. And also different types of cheese were added. That's it, the simplest appetizer for the New Year's table 100 years ago is ready. Now the modern appetizer is one of the most delicious dishes on the New Year's table. It's a salmon tartare. To do this, cut a salmon and fillet from the skin. Then cut it into cubes. and into a bowl. The sweetness of mango will perfectly complement the taste of the salmon. Therefore, we cut off the pit of the middle and separate the flesh from the peel with a large spoon. The sweet flesh should be cut into pieces even smaller than the salmon itself. And into the bowl. We will also finally chop up some red onion. Add it to the char char. To make it a little spicier, add some hot chili. Into the pepper. For flavor, add three lemon zests. The lemon itself can be cut in half and squeeze out some juice for sourness. Freshly ground pepper for flavor. Soy sauce. Black sesame. And now mix up the tartar. That's it. Now place an iron ring on a plate and pour the tartar inside. Spread it around and press it down with your fork. The ring can be lifted and the tartare is ready, but you also need to cut a baguette into pieces. Drizzle a pan with oil and fry the baguette pieces. We need to get a really crispy crust. And onto the plate. You also need some pieces of cream cheese with spices. We take one piece and spread it onto a piece of bread, and the rest too. Let's also decorate the tartare with some parmesan and herbs. That's it, the modern New Year's snack is ready. 
Let's move on to the dessert that was prepared for the new year 100 years ago. This is a cupcake called Stolen. It needs dried fruits. Fill them with cognac. Cover with the lid and shake. They should be left to soak for at least 12 hours so that the dried fruits are filled with the aroma of cognac. For the dough, pour milk and two packages of yeast into a bowl. A spoonful of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and mix it up. That's it, we'll leave the sourdough to rise. Next, add some butter, sugar, dried ginger, cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, cloves, salt, and a chicken egg, and a lot of flour. And knead the dough well, first with a spatula, and a little bit later with your hands. You should be left with a dough something like this. Cover it up with a saran wrap. And give it one hour to rise. Remove the saran wrap and put our soaked dried fruits into it. Also a couple of types of chopped nuts and mix them well into the dough. You should be left with something like this. Once again, cover it up with saran wrap and wait for it to rise. Now our stolen cake dough is ready. It needs to be thoroughly kneaded with your hands now. Now divide the dough into three parts. We only need one. We put it into a baking tray. Using a spatula, we make a characteristic notch, covered up with this film, and the final hour-long proofing of the dough. That's it, we remove the saran wrap and take it to the oven. We're gonna bake our stolen inside. Forty minutes later, it's ready. We take it out. And put it onto a plate. Lubricate it with melted butter. We need like a whole layer of butter. Then sprinkle with powdered sugar. All this powder needs to be thoroughly soaked in butter. And for the final time, sprinkle with powdered sugar. That's it, the dessert for the New Year's table was ready for 100 years ago. For beauty, I decided to immediately cut it into pieces. In my opinion, it looks way better this way. Now for our modern New Year's Day dessert. This is a tangerine tiramisu, and these are as fragrant as possible. Let's peel them. Done. We need to do the same with the rest of the mandarins and put it into a blender. They need to be turned into like a smoothie. Done. Pour the tangerine smoothie into a saucepan. And we put it onto a stove. Add in some sugar and boil for five minutes. The next stage is the mascarpone cheese cream. We open it up. Send it into a bowl. Four packs of it. Pour in 30% heavy cream. Of course, powdered sugar. And mix this all well with a mixer until you get a perfectly smooth cream. Done. For convenience, we're gonna put this into a cooking bag. So everything is ready. We're gonna take out a Savoyard cookie, dip it into a tangerine smoothie, and put it into the mold. We continue to fill out the bottom of the form in this way. Mm -hmm. 
Also on top of the ladyfingers, add a thicker part of the tangerine, similar to the mashed potatoes. The next layer is cream. We're gonna squeeze it evenly into the mold. Level everything out with a spatula. Next comes another layer of lady fingers. The tangerine puree. Another layer of cream. Level it out. And now all we have to do is make some drops of cream on top. And finally sprinkle it with chocolate chips. and pop it in the fridge. After five hours in the fridge, it's ready. And you can carefully lift off the form. That's it, the Trinity Tangerine Tiramisu is ready for the modern New Year's Day table. Finally, it's time to set the table. We're about to find out which is tastier, the modern fashionable New Year's table, or the classic one that was made for the New Year's 100 years ago. And we're gonna start with the main ancient dish, the baked turkey. Cut off a piece of the breast. And try it. Delicious meat, but nothing special. Seven out of 10. So for the modern New Year's Day table, let's try the rack of lambs. But first let's cut it into pieces between the ribs. The meat is slightly pink, as it should be. In my opinion, this looks way more appetizing than the turkey. Let's see how it tastes. The meat is super soft and it smells like herbs. And a divine sprinkle of Parmesan, 10 out of 10. Let's move on to the Olivier salad from the 100 years ago New Year's. Let's try it. This is really delicious. The crawfish meat really fits in perfectly here, 10 out of 10. Now for the trendy Greek salad with quinoa and avocado from the modern New Year's Day table. Let's try it. Well, to be honest, it's whatever. It would be a good salad if you removed the quinoa out of it. It's really not needed at all, five out of 10. The side dish of rustic potatoes from the New Year's table 100 years ago. Let's try it. This is just really standard potatoes, seven out of 10. Now, the fashionable Edo puree with caramelized onion of the modern New Year's Day table. Let's try it. It's interesting, but it doesn't really taste like an ordinary potato at all. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Now I'm gonna try the like meat cuts from the New Year's Day table 100 years ago. This is really delicious pork belly, seven out of 10. And its competitor is the salmon tartare of the modern New Year's Day table. So before eating, you need to spread out some cheese on the piece of baguette. And now we put the tartare on top. I think it looks really beautiful. We need to try it. Yes, this is clearly way tastier. Slightly spicy and sweet for the mango tartare. I'm gonna give this 10 out of 10. Finally, the dessert taken from the New Year's Day table 100 years ago. Let's try it. Super spicy, super fragrant. Well, this is the taste of the new year in its purest form, 10 out of 10. Let's see how many points the trendy tangerine tiramisu will score from the modern New Year's Day table. Let's cut off a piece. (music) 
can't put it on a plate. All right, let's try it. Yes, this is also incredibly delicious. The awesome tangerine taste makes this dessert super New Year's Eve too, but not as much as the stolen. That's why I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. The homemade fruit juice was drunk from soft drinks 100 years ago. This is a 10. On the modern New Year's Day table, there was always a Coca-Cola as the symbol of the new year. Also 10 out of 10. So in total, the Centennial New Year's Day table scored 51 points, and the modern New Year's Day table scored 52. It turns out that now on New Year's Eve, they eat a little bit tastier than they did 100 years ago. Be sure to send this video to a friend so that they can also get into the New Year's mood. And also write in the comments what you're gonna have on the New Year's Day table this year. And while I'm shooting a new video for you, I recommend watching my dad roasting a whole sheep on a spit. And don't forget to tell him that you're from me. Bye, everybody.